No, 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 no. I think he's onto something. Egg, are you holding him? Unar has um, asked you to hold the corpse of the man whose pockets you are currently rifling through. Do I feel anything in the pocket that I have? Uh, my hand is in. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a, there's a small missive. Yeah, you can keep like doing whatever, just when you're done. Yeah. Okay. I pull out the the missive and okay. see is there any kind of seal on it or something? Uh, it the if there was a seal, it's been broken. It is okay. now in your hand now. Okay, then I will read it. Okay. Oh, neat. Well, oh, I thought well, I thought that was a smiley face at first, and the little <laughs> <laughs> thing. It's like emojis. This is the the bounty. Mm-hmm. Neat. What? So wow, neat. we're not worth that much. Right? Huh, you guys are fucked. Yep. Not really. Not if the bounty isn't higher. <laughs> That's a good call. I just call. had a great idea. Okay, go for it. Oh, just like... If we ever do decide to go back to Glitterstone, yeah, one of you, yeah, turn you in, can turn us in for the bounty, and yep. then we'll clear up our names in court, and it'll be fine. Or you'll die. Dibs. Either way, dibs all the dibs. Just a thought. Anyway, can we loot these guys for other stuff? Like, yeah, like, uh, see if they have I, any I, magical I, items or anything on them. Sure. Yeah, um, if one of our members wants to interrogate them. Right. Uh, before we get there, I'll just tell you what they have on them. Uh, each of the mages has a sickle and a quarterstaff, oh. uh, as well as there are five sets of manacles. Uh, and then the assassin has a knife, a short bow, a quiver of 20 arrows, and a pouch of 100 gold pieces. Yoink. Actually, Chain is yoinking that because he's the one who sprinted to that oh, body. Oh, that's to right, yeah. It. No, you're right. <laughs> I, I knew what I wanted. Hey, you did. He could smell the gold. <laughs> you said 20 gold coins? Or no. 100? <laughs> I don't know. What did I say? It's 100. 100. You said 100. 100. <laughs> I, I thought 20 because of the 20 arrows. Nice. I'm going to take one set of manacles, because you never know. Okay. Well, if we want that cover story, don't we want multiple sets? It's true. So, three sets? Right? Oh, yeah, I suppose mm, so. Yep. At least, yeah. You don't want to turn Chain in for the reward, either? They're not going to believe that it's him. Yeah. Yeah. Besides, I'm I, the one turning him in. I, I feel like a cleric would know of a spell that compels people to tell the truth. It's true. Very true. <laughs> you turned the cleric on me. <laughs> <laughs> cleric and I have a good thing going. Also, just for the record, a thousand gold is a lot of gold. It's no, it's no trunk full, but yes. <laughs> I'm not sure how much is in there. I have to check it again. Yeah. Well, if we're going based off weight, that's why I get, that's why I gave it to you in weight. Yeah, because I my leather pack was ten pounds worth, and that was five hundred. Fifty coins weighs a pound. Okay. Holy Jesus. shit, and we have 400? Yeah. Well, I mean, the, well, there's yeah, the weight of the chest. chest. Oh, well, yeah. okay, so we have about maybe 300. Probably. How, how, about ex that. how, 
How heavy do you think a chest is? A wooden chest with heavy. steel reinforcements? Probably about a hundred and something pounds. They're not light. Have you ever tried to move like an old cheap, like, trunk? I, I guess I can't say I have. Yeah, but it's, it's the uh, fucking worst. Approximately 25. I mean, that that giant chest there is, I mean, it contains a lifetime of riches. Um, well, a, tw a 25 it, pound chest contains 30 pounds of gear, or can contain 30 pounds of gear. Mm -hmm. So it'd be about a 30. Anyway, the so the, you guys have, have looted your boys. You've got your missive. Um, well, they're wizards, so they would technically have spell books. Ooh. <laughs> I rifle so, for those. Yeah. Um, let's say that there are three spell books. Neat. Uh, is it, so, I, you know, because I, I, I want to tell this information anyway, I'm just going to tell it. Uh, as you're rifling through their, their corpses, basically, you notice that all three of them look identical. Um, Oh, like down to like, well, aside from the one that has his face blown open, it's like <laughs> everything about everything about them, even their level of physical fitness. Um, the assassin, however, looks like he has absolutely zero connection to them whatsoever. Uh, in terms of like appearance, like he's just a scrawny sneak thief. But what do you think, triplets? I mean, it's a little unsettling, right? They all die the same. Um, okay, so what is Udinar doing here? Uh, it depends. What's, what's How long here? does looting take? I don't know, just like a couple of minutes. Okay, you, nothing. You're though. literally just like flipping through pockets. Then nothing. Um, I mean, you you can do it before then if you want to. Yeah, I'll do it while they're mm -hmm. doing that then. Looting. Okay, so, so what do you do? The last guy that they killed, I'm going to basically hold down and cast this on. All right, so that would be this one. That guy, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So before before this one's been looted, then so you yeah. you've got you're holding oh. down. And he's he's got one hit point. Yeah. Uh, it's a good so, thing you didn't pull the one that had a busted face. <laughs> right. Yeah. So um. Like okay. A tiny servant there to punch him in the nuts. So. Basically, like, yeah. the way it goes is I say, well, let's interrogate him, I'll walk over, and then I'll do mm -hmm. it, and then I'll look over at Egg while I'm holding him and say, talk. Ask him whatever you want. Because Egg's the one who wanted info. And... Yeah. Man, you asked the wrong guy. <laughs> Egg, what do you do? Uh... What is it you're not telling us about why you're here? Also, how did you find us, actually? That's my first question. Good choice. Um, he spits in your general direction. <laughs> good talk, good talk. I'm going to have Tiny Servant punch him in the nuts? Use your skills. <laughs> <laughs> Put it but. <laughs> Typically, when you try to get information out of somebody, you would do something diplomatic. Can I use uh, intimidation on him? You absolutely can use intimidate. <laughs> so I'm going to use very stern voice and harsh sure. language. Do you want a guidance? So first? Him. as he does that, I'm going to tighten my grip on him, like to mm -hmm. help, like intensify the situation. Sure. And I give, I give a. Uh... I give him a guidance boot. Okay. Okay. Uh, boop. So I put on my Batman voice. Where's Rachel? How did you find us? Where's Peter Stone? Oh my god. <laughs> Cookie Monster was let loose in this fucking place. <laughs> okay. So uh, you roll to intimidate the fuck out of this guy. Uh, just like 
you you let him know that you're not interested in killing him, but if you want to, you can make him experience great pain, and your big friend here will just keep bringing him back over and over and over again to do it repeatedly for as long as it takes until he answers your questions. Jesus Christ. And Udinar, you get the distinct scent of urine uh, <laughs> as, as you keep this guy pinned down. Yeah. Uh, and he says, okay, 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 what, what, just, just kill me, just kill me and let me die. What, one question, one question, please. My brothers await me. You know, get off that easily. Uh, how did you find us? Just find one, one question. I, scrying, scrying magic found you. Fuck him, ask how, another one. How did you get here? He, how did you travel to get here? He steals his face and says, an infinite amount of deaths and I will never tell you. I told you one question, let me die. Hey, I'm you, willing to do it. Well, I guess. Wait, Madam Belden, what are you doing? What's that D20? That's my, my tiny servant trying to punch him in the dick. <laughs> All right, dude, well, it's you know, at advantage. He's restrained, so it's at advantage. That, that'll probably kill him. Yeah, that damage. does. Yeah. What was it? Plus one? No, plus three. No, oh, excuse uh, me. I mean, it's going to fucking kill no him. No matter what, yeah, he so. dies. Yeah. Okay. I throw. It, I just let go yeah. of his corpse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. Y'all have got to work on your interrogation. Are you kidding? That was awesome. Yeah. Now we know that they use magic to find us and nothing else. Let's continue on, I guess. <laughs> and he got to feel the embarrassment of dying to a jar. I, true. I, That's very true. With wet pants, getting Ew. punched in the dick. I would bet that that scrying magic is somewhere in those spell books. Tell your tiny servant to go uh, wash his hand. <laughs> <laughs> go wash your hand. And the, the tiny servant walks up to Chain and wipes its hands on his pants. <laughs> no, get out of here. <laughs> Gross. But uh, I assume it's nowhere near enough time for a long rest. Oh no. We could do a short rest, maybe. Yeah, I feel like short rest. Well, you can resume your short rest. Yeah, finishing it off. Yeah. yeah. So you resume your short rest. Five minutes can... pass. Boop. You can heal now. We can heal. Nice. Yep. Using three hit dice. Oh, I, I looked that up as well. You don't have to declare the number. You can you can roll oh, hit die really? and then yes. Ah. Oh. That that was clarified. See, coming back from vacation is so nice. I have all this information now. Six plus me two. Three. Here's another one. Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what I want to know is how you guys intend to get out of here now. See, I was kind of hoping that would be the question, <laughs> but that's fine. I kind of didn't care either way. That way was funnier. No, that was that was <laughs> good. A good question to know. Well, because I it's ten, and I know that some of you guys have work, and I really wanted to get to Edwin tonight. Sure. So if we can, I would like to. Um, um, I mean, are they carrying current any plan. water skins on them? Yeah. Would oh. those water skins be sealed with a cork? Oh, we already determined that you don't need a cork. Yeah, we're good. Oh, with... that's right. Okay. I'll take a butter skin. Okay. <laughs> Didn't have one. <laughs> he lost not... his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, each one of them has uh, a water skin, but they're not carrying backpacks or anything. God damn it! What about the assassin? The assassin does have, uh, you know what? They have everything a burglar's kit would have. Yes! <laughs> nice! So you can add a burglar's kit to your inventory. Great success. By the way, I hope none of you guys are lawful. That would make this whole interaction really awkward. Why? 
We just rebelled against authorities, didn't we? In a way, yeah. But lawful doesn't mean stupid. <laughs> you if you believe yourselves to be innocent. That doesn't mean that when the cops come knocking, you're just like, yeah, sure, you can take all of my things. I mean, wouldn't you be like, all right, let's ha- let the judicial system handle this? Fuck no! I don't like being lawful. Doesn't so it it doesn't mean you're ignorant. It doesn't mean that you are compliant with whatever a law is. Because being lawful, like if it meant that, then anytime you went to like an evil kingdom, you'd have to follow their laws. It means that you follow like a specific code of ethics. Uh, okay. You aren't you aren't necessarily going to go Robin Hood, but like it's more along the lines of this group might feel. Anybody lawful in this group might feel like that they need to go answer to Glitterstone, but not at risk of being dis- you know being robbed by Black Factor bounty hunters. No, oh, yeah, I mean, assuming they didn't know that these guys were black, I, they, they may not be Black Factors. Or Just black that's factor. the vibe you got. Not everyone, right? Because not everyone. No, is true. Insane. Yeah, and I don't know. I don't I mean I don't necessarily know the strict alignment of everybody in the group. That's uh, alignment is not something I concern myself with because most of the time it just ends up being a handicap, mm-hmm. or or a crutch where someone's like, "Oh, well, my character would do it because he's chaotic neutral." It's like, mm-hmm. Also, lawful Pretty doesn't choice. necessarily mean the laws of man either, because my character would be considered lawful, but to his like yeah, what he considers his greater authority. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Because mm-hmm. uh, anyway. we were finishing up our short rest, can I use that time to ritual cast Detect Magic? Sure, if you'd like. Um, and Pedalin, wanna... you, you can finish attuning with the uh, the amulet. And I assume I finish attuning with the uh, goggles. Or the yes. glasses. Yeah, if that's what you want to so do. So even you... after this rest, does everybody look pretty beaten up still? Because we took a bunch of damage. Um, I, right. think, I think most people are most people at least are okay. wounded in okay. some fashion. Yeah. I mean, I could do with a heal. I wouldn't turn it down. Yeah, because I, I want one? this. I want this from myself anyway, so I might as well take the ten minutes to. Oh, okay. Do it. You're do prayer of healing. Okay, so while Lavinia does her ritual cast, you will also cast prayer of healing. That's fine. Um. Pedalin finishes attuning with the with the uh, amulet. Chain finishes attuning with the glasses. And what were you wanting to ask me, Lavinia? I wanted to do a, a once over on each of the the wizards to see if there are any magical items that we didn't really pay attention to during looting. Just the spell books. What lame wizards! So everybody oh, heals yeah. another ten. Nice. Um. Well, I mean they. I, so I'm going to give you access to some of their conduits, but it's since we're not using the, the charge system anymore, it's just as like trade fodder. Uh, so I'll give you the rarity. Um, let's say each one of them has like a common level conduit. So three common level conduit. conduits. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, did, did we agree that we were only taking three sets of manacles or were we going to take five? I mean, there's what's why not take five? Yeah, I'm in agreement. Okay, five it is. Never know when you need a good set of manacles, right? Uh, was there a key to the manacles on their corpses? Too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna add in with keys. Okay. Uh, I assume the assassin doesn't have anything magical. No. Piss ass assassin. Um. I didn't get to make it, but I can tell you what's in the gist of it. But uh, within the assassin's contents is a uh, a small contract that basically describes that he was hired um, by the the three casters that you ran into, and kind of gives you an idea. Like they are basically bounty hunters for hire, uh, and their whole shtick is like they they pride themselves on being minimalists they take the what the littlest amount of things that they need um and you know the assassin was like if you read through his contract what you see is that he forfeited his right to payment by attacking 
because he wasn't he was just supposed to lead them to you yeah, but they are said he used magic but they are they are three like supposedly you know they in in the contract they're like you know we're the the triplet blah 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 you know bounty hunters there's no no job too hard and we only take the the materials that we need like the minimal amount of materials needed to complete our objective Hmm. What Don't fucking lamos? Um. Well, they paid for it. Chain, go ahead and make a history check. Hey. Let's say you've heard of them before, having read this missive, and now that you've read the name of like who they are, then you've probably definitely had some experience, or at least heard of them in your criminal underground as their bounty hunters, and would likely deal with you. Uh, or people that you know. So, they're, you now have the understanding that they're not black factors, they're just big dick swingers. <laughs> like they, they, before they were killed, they operated entirely on pride and were rather well known in like the Glitterstone underground. For being like showboats? Well, no, for like being capable. Oh! Looks capable like we're more capable. What likely happened here is that they underestimated you. They thought they could just march up and make demands and that you would comply. They probably weren't expecting a fight. I wasn't expecting a firebolt to the chest. Yeah. Or a sword in the neck hole. So, again, in, in the interest of time, how uh, do you guys plan to get out of here? I think the plan was have chain... Glance underwater now that he can use the glasses, uh -huh. scope out what the situation there is, okay. and likely use water walking to get across. I cannot yes. water walk anymore. Mm. I've had to be, I kept having to remove curses and shit. <laughs> Either way, I would like to look underwater, see the situation. Okay. All right, so you're going to go. Um, that we'll we'll get there in a second. I I have one more thing I have to take care of. I just want to know how you guys are planning to get out. Well, if he can't water walk, then we can't. I can easily go this carry way, it right? water. I assume. Yeah. You guys... So okay, so let me do this because this might. I guess technically it might change what you guys do next. Uh, so as the rest comes to an end and Pedalin finishes attuning with the the rare amulet that you found. Um, everybody hears a scream as the amulet itself seems to animate and bores into the skull of Petalin, replacing her eye with one of its own. Holy Ugh. shit! The strap that was the amulet snaps tightly around her skull to hold it in place. Well, then. Uh, I mean, I guess I would have tried to stop it. Oh, it was not it was just a, quick. Yeah. Like, she, okay. the moment it's attuned, it <clears throat> bores right in. Jesus. I regret this decision instantly. <laughs> Uh, are you okay? So now that no, you're. No, my fucking eye! Now, now that you're attuned with it. Um, let's see. It, it so it can cast hex once a day, and whenever you deal damage with a cantrip, you can choose to push push the creature back up to ten feet in a straight line. It looks I mean, so good. <laughs> At least you still have your hands. Petalin um, starts to cry. Um, out of one eye. So, actually... No, out of the, both. I can control this one, too. <laughs> so, um, the iris is red, and the veins in the eye are purple. Uh, Petalin, as you, as you blink through the tears, uh, you see a large, demonic, nightmarish creature stalking up the way from the, from the water. Make a wisdom saving throw, please. That's horrifying. Hang on. Hang on. 
uh, ah. 17. You, you shake your head, and the creature that was there merely moments ago isn't. The, uh, the item's okay. the item's proper name is the Warlock's Eye. I keep crying. <laughs> okay. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Egg puts a hand on her Look shoulder. Look at my eye! <laughs> it looks great. No, it doesn't! Don't lie to me! <laughs> No, I'm it so really seems to you. What am I gonna do? Look at my face. I mean, you look pretty cool. We could get I'm you an eye patch. I'm a freak. I'm a half blood freak, and now look at my fucking face. Uh, <laughs> at least you still have your hands. Egg, <laughs> shut up about your stupid hands. <laughs> I'm entirely incapable of I was a puddle earlier today. And now I smell like oatmeal and now yeah, my that sucks. eye. When you're a puddle, you don't have hands. <laughs> Look, be grateful for the things you do have. Like, like hands. Like what? <laughs> like Man, hands. Working eyes. <laughs> Man, you got does one. Look really bad. Normal eye. Get you an eye patch. It could be better. <laughs> so just I'm to be clear, I mean it's 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 like aesthetics. it's like a glass eye. It just has a red iris, and instead of you know red veins, it's purple veins, and uh, it has like the the like the strap that was the amulet that made it like an eye patch. Uh, the, those can't be seen now that it's bored in. We say she automatically gets a plus one on intimidation rolls now. Mm, no, but so uh, so. Wait, there's not like a gold strap around my face. It's just no, my no, eyes no. wonky. Yeah, you just now you have a a, a red eye with purple oh, veins. Oh, I and thought it's like, I had like this... creepy metal shit sticking out no, of my no, face. No, 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 You're not you're not mad eye moody, but it's okay. just like you just got like uh like there's blood of course coming out of that socket from where oh, it bored yeah, your sure. old eye out. No, I imagined a very much <laughs> mad eye moody situation. No, 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 no. I'm going to start kind of fiddling with my bangs to see if I can cover <laughs> that side of my face. Okay. Hardly no see? Way. You're using your hands already. <laughs> Everything's great. So, um, Don't talk to me. If there is no immediate plan on how to get out of this place, then we can call this a session and pick it up next time. Because I, I do want to, I, as much as I want to have the conversation with Ed, I don't want to rush it. I know that um, I'm pretty sure that Homer and Lizard both need to probably get going soon. Am I correct? Yeah. I mean, I got a bit longer. Mm. But well, so this would probably take us to about 11 if we if we go meet Ed. I I could do that. Homer? I could do it. Okay. Yeah. Then then tell me how you guys want to get out of here. While y'all are doing that, I'm gonna go for a quick break. I need to go to. Yeah. I'll be right back. I mean, my um, current plan would be to check what's underwater. Uh, I mean, I obviously... So, so you're you're going to look underwater, and you're going to see some sharks. Oh, sharks. Multiple sharks. Yes. Okay. So we're probably going to go the other way. I don't, I don't know how underwater combat works, but I don't particularly feel like trying it out. And go around all the way. Sneak past. If we the do troll. that, we would probably need to to forfeit the chest, though, uh, we'll because that path involved a a tight squeeze. I mean, they somehow like got all of their treasure through. Maybe they opened it up. Hmm. We could just go fight the troll. We'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I'm 
Crow could be dead as well. So out of character, I hadn't considered that they probably could have cleared away <laughs> if they took the other treasure. Yeah. Or they could have found another way, even. Yep. Mm -hmm. These are all possibilities. Or the troll just could have left that spot. It probably has Wait. been a while, right? Now that I think about it. It's been yeah. at least a day. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I don't particularly feel like fighting sharks. How big are the sharks? How big are the sharks? Yeah. Large? Large. Yeah, particularly feel shark like. size. I'm going to be the real. It's, it's not the sharks be. I'm worried about in that water. <laughs> yeah. It's anything else. There's it's always the water a I'm worried about. Just that part. We know, Homer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also afraid of this guy freaking out and drowning himself in a panic. I mean, we could technically go all the way back around. I guess we'll strap the chest to Udinar and see if we can find an alternate route. How do you get across the pit with Udinar via, you know, chested up? We can you do, your do the... rope plan. That was the simple solution, apparently. Okay. Do you want me to roll yeah. anything for that? Oh, I just, I want to know, like, so I said rope, but I mean, how? Have Udinar go over first. Mm -hmm. Mage hand him over the end of the rope that is oh okay you, so you, you're not gonna have it like on his back mm -mm. no oh okay 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 no then, then yeah that's fine your your characters are smart enough to figure out that you can use you know the ropes to basically carry it sure if there was a card i lost it so you'll have to pull that back that's fine it's the troll there that we can see no we see a body. Yeah. I thought we were map transitioning, not moving up. <laughs> Whoa, where did the chest go? So we just moved it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Not me. I don't see anything. I, I, I put it like I put it right yeah, there. I saw it and then it and, went off. Like, yeah. uh, let me turn the opacity back up. So I, or back it down. Like so that way. Yeah. Just fucking flew. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. It did, it, how the how the shit did it get? <laughs> I just lit another torch. Okay. All right. So you guys make it over to here. Um, Chain, as you get to the edge and look down, you do see the corpse of the troll. It is. It is very burned. All right. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's quite a troll. troll. <laughs> we can jump down there and loot. But what would sure a troll have be. unless they're going there to cut off his dick? Like, what would a troll have that whoever I mean, killed the troll wouldn't have taken already? That's see, that's what I've been thinking. Wait, doing what? What did, what did you say, Egg? Uh, what would the troll have that whoever killed it wouldn't have taken? Uh, I was thinking maybe they didn't like because he was munching on another body. Maybe they hadn't uh, looted it. Maybe it died of natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> Like a cave in. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. It's real. Thing Active is, troll. The the funny thing is, trolls can't die of natural causes unless that natural cause is fire. Oh. Wow, I'm really glad we didn't try to fight it earlier. I did not know that. Oh, I figured everybody knew that. Yeah, trolls have regeneration. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, we just ruined metagaming for everybody. Yeah, totally. Oh. Jesus. Oh. I see, like, that's such common knowledge to me, because I've read all the monster manuals for funsies, and I just forget that other people don't do that kind of weird-ass shit. It's not even from D&D. It's in, like, it's in a, pop culture, too. troll feature. Yeah. yeah. Unless it's a cave troll. Alright, so, you guys are here. What now? Uh, move forward. 
Now, now we go down off the cliff face and okay. around. Because I don't think we can fit through this tiny little area. Uh, we just want to see if it's open then... or not. Yeah. Is it open? Oh, shit. You... Does this go around? This is the area where Madame Beldum nearly killed everybody. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> With that giant cave-in. But out of character, yeah. I'm following you guys because I don't know. So yeah. I'm a mule. I had yeah, no idea you, that this connected. You've, got, you've probably got the chest on your back. So. Yeah, there we go. Like, so basically, literally, the mule. Are we even going to be able to get through because of the cave-in? Other people just... must have if they went down the troll path and killed it. Yeah. I sincerely hope. All right, so what I want to know is how does Udinar get down? He jumps. That's... Uh, I'm just kidding. 30 well, feet. <laughs> where did my uh, torch go? Uh, I moved it down with Egg, just because oh. I yeah. moved him down there. Okay, but okay. If you're the one carrying it, then yeah. So he will egg. remove the chest from his back, and then with the same rope method from before, lower it down, and okay. then climb down, and sure. then put it back on. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Then let's move everybody down. That's not Udenar, that's the chest. So you guys should be able to see now mm -hmm. yep. that it looks like somebody has cleared the path. Nice. nice. Or something. Cool. We will blindly follow it. Who was it that said that? Uh, check for traps, maybe. Because yeah. that was real smart to think that, yeah, they probably cleared a path to get out. <laughs> I said that. Yeah, like... If if the troll was dead, why would they not continue this way? Okay. Yeah. So the the stench of troll feces uh, fills the cavern once again, familiar to everybody but Udinar. Yeah, it's a smell. Yeah, it's a rank one. So, what next? You guys can kind of meander through the cave. I, I'm fine with you moving your ship. I just want to know what the plan is. I think find our way back to the entrance. Since we know sure. this is where it was caved in. We mm -hmm. have a sense of direction. Okay. So we go back to the chamber below the, or behind the waterfall. Okay. So, oh, that drags the rocks. Uh, let me move it. <laughs> Don't want to drag rocks. Drag rocks, everyone dies. And then up here. This is all new to noodles. All right, there we go. You were at the waterfall. Now what? The final challenge. So this, this is chest. a waterfall you were telling me about. I feel like I've heard so many things about this waterfall. I'm thinking the easiest way would be to go down one of the holes. To where? Oh, wait, shit. Yeah. They're not well, going anywhere. Through. There are holes that end up in, uh, like, through the back of the waterfall, right? I There's one, that. and the it's one 30 feet up. Through. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I have a thought. So, Chain, you can breathe underwater, right? Yep. And we have a lot of rope. What if you we just, just carry it down to me? Well, we you go down, we'll lower it down to you, leaving it tied off, and then we'll swim to shore with the other end of the rope, and we'll pull from the shore. You push from under the water, and we'll be able to drag it up onto the beach. I'm pretty sure I can just carry it underwater. Like, cause assuming it's not that heavy underwater. I think it would be heavier underwater, because it's metal, isn't it? No, you can lift a car underwater with just, like, yeah. two people. All right, well. What do y'all think? Try and just make sure it's, uh... gingerly. Does the Indy give rules for that? Well, three people talked at once. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rumble, go. Wasn't there a gap behind the waterfall? Where it's we had climbed up. Very, very. It's like a one foot gap. 
Mm. It's, it's enough for a person lying flat against the wall. But not enough for the chest, you mean? Exactly. If the chest is wider than a person laying flat against the wall, then no. Yeah. Well, we could tie the rope around the immovable rod for leverage so that we have, and have like two people on it so that we have enough force to hold it up against the waterfall, maybe. Well, I think we want to like tie the chest securely as well with as much rope as we can so it doesn't flip open. Mm. It's not a bad well, idea. Well, how and, are we? Like, how are we going to get it through the hole? Uh, the hole was fine. It was the space behind the waterfall. Oh. Oh. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Or we just tie it securely and chuck it in. <laughs> a terrible idea. I mean, yeah, that's an option too. But what if it like gets hit into the ground so hard that it just or hits a rock or something? Yeah, and completely just breaks apart, and there's a bunch of gold at the bottom of the water. Oh, Jane's yeah. gonna be, be down there, there like a long time. <laughs> um. So let's have. Uh, uh, not oh, hold on, hold on. I. In... I... I was reading something. I think you guys just said something that I wish I'd heard. What was that? <laughs> Tying it up so that it doesn't open up and then just like, throwing it. And then Chain would be below the waterfall picking up gold coins for like three days. Okay, so the, the thought process being that the waterfall would cause the chest to open? Uh, break against or, or the rocks. Mm -hmm. Okay. How deep uh, is the water at the bottom of the waterfall? I think it was about 20, 30 feet. Enough for somebody to swim underneath it. Um, so it was way deeper than that because it's just this tiny little pond with a huge waterfall. So the water is getting pulled somewhere, which you guys now probably have a good idea of where. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. So if we throw this thing down there, it's going to get sucked, sucked into the drain, basically. Son yeah. of a bitch. Almost like I land this. I was sitting here thinking, man, I hope they lower it so I can just like bust the chest open. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it already is, and nothing's happened yet. Yeah, no, we were talking about like tying it closed too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we we tie it closed and then have the rope secured to it and then maybe use the immovable rod, just kind of loop around for some additional friction and then have multiple people hold the rope and have somebody out on the outside to hopefully lower it too. <gasps> Man, I wish I was playing. I just had the best idea ever. What if I, uh... <laughs> Here, quick, take over my character. <laughs> what if I take the immovable rod to shore with the rope uh, tied to it? You guys tie up the thing, come back, and then we can pull it up. So you're suggesting wait, one end wait, of the wait, rope wait, 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 tied wait. to the... No, no, no. We immovable rod up here with as much rope as we can down to shore, we need to find a way to secure it down there, and then we can zip line it down. That was my idea! Nice. Oh. <laughs> uh, if, we, if we look around, is there anything up here that we could anchor rope to? Mm, anybody have any climbing pythons in any of their kits? There would have still been some yes. left in the side of the dead. thing where Thame climbed up earlier. Mm. But what? I'm sorry, what was that chain? I have ten. Then yes, okay, you could anchor no. them in the wall. Okay, Thanks, so assassin. We're making, yeah, we're making a zip line. <laughs> All right. 
So someone will need to go down to shore. Shouldn't be too hard. In order. With the immovable rod. Right. Most likely chain because he can breathe underwater. It's a really handy skill. This is, yeah. This death thing really worked out for me. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give Chain the immovable rod, and we probably want to secure together as much rope as we can. Okay. All right. So sure, let's say you guys do that. Uh huh. Because it's a solid plan. You have the tools, and I'm not going to make you roll anything for it because that would be silly. Um. So you're you have the understanding of what you need to do. You get it done. Um. Chain, sw chain swims out there, sets the removable rod, gets it all done. You get the chest loaded up in its cute little rope nest attached to the attached to the zip line, and away you go. Um, I just because I think it would be funny. I think that somebody should ride the chest down. Egg will do that because he right. can't swim. Yep. Egg rides no, the chest great down, idea. down the zip line. I assumed everybody would zip line. I have manacles. I mean, I'll throw a manacle over the rope and slide like, down. Like I, I thought everybody would zip line except for the last person. Who would zip line the chest? No, the so, chest can well, go first. But yeah, eggs going with the chest. Oh, okay. So it's everybody could take here. a set of manacles and zip line. Eggs out here. Yeah, but we would have to then sacrifice the all that rope. Chest. Oh, good point. Which would be plus thirty. So about 140 feet of rope. Eh, that's not too terrible. Yeah. It's like half our rope. It is about half our rope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, what would be the best way to like, get around He's it? a big guy. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm small. I could tie the rope off to my waist, oh. and then y'all could drag me up. If you two <laughs> wanted to zip line down, I can, I can undo the rope and whatnot. I mean, I guess that, that makes the most sense. Okay. Because I'll right, be then... the easiest to drag yep. out of the water. That's exactly what I was hoping somebody would do. So that's solution to a problem that didn't exist. Nice. Bam. Everybody's out. Everybody has all the rope. You have your chest. Uh, Minus one peg. So I imagine Noodles is going to get that back up on his back. Mm -hmm. Unless right? we want to wait 10 minutes. Oh, by the way, we got uh, 50 more feet of rope. Oh. Nice. oh, thanks, assassin. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> so thanks, the Obama. Rope thanks, Obama. Thanks, Obama. Bam. Okay, so you leave the lake and begin your trek outward. Um, several hours later, you come across a familiar crossing. Um, I didn't have time to modify this, also I just didn't think of it, but uh, a lot of these trees are burned down and scarred now. It looks like, uh, you know, the war party has definitely moved through here in some regard. Um, in addition to the two giant corpses that you rolled down the hill so unceremoniously, there are now orcs and other giants littered about. I don't um, see anything on my screen. Same. You know? Yeah, it's all uh, black. Oh, oh, right, because I probably turned on the stupid... Uh, let's see, you guys are on this... Oh, you guys are on the wrong page, that's why. And this one. Oh, okay, yep. Perfect. And then from there... I archived it. Pull that out. Where is it? Red God, shore. it feels like so long ago since we've been here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I thought we'd never get out from underground. Rails, meditation. Where is he? <laughs> I didn't delete it, did I? I'm excited because Wolf has to do an accent again. <laughs> There's some boys here that shouldn't oh, be man. here anymore. Uh, and I need to get rid of these and add the new one. It's kind of cool that it saves our, like, health and shit. Yeah, I set that up. Nice. <laughs> you don't have to do shit anymore. World 20 froze, so I have to re 
load it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Finally. You uh, approach, or everybody but Udenar approaches a, a very familiar bend about two days since you left. And see, that's the crazy thing. It's been so long for us, but it's only been two in-game days <laughs> since you left Edwin's camp. Uh, as you approach... Yeah, as you approach, the familiar wagon uh, is is spotted, and the dwarf sits nearby, uh, whittling away at a stone with a small and chisel. aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Oh, and by the rubs. stars, you've survived. And where's my wee chipper friend? Pippi, you little bastard. You're not hiding, are you? Have they brought you with them? At Ed's voice, the imp just, like, zips out of your hood. And is is on his Aren't shoulder. His wings still fucked. I didn't say he flew. I said okay. he zips. He scrabbles and zooms and climbs his way up Ed. And uh, it's like Enesard. Do you have it? I feel we should step into your office first. Ah, all right, but um, where is it? Now, if I weren't mistaken, there were five of you that went in, but somebody's missing, and you seem to have gained a, diff- a fresh face. Who's this fella? Who's the big one? Oh, this is Ud- I'm Udinar. I, I, I just I, like I extend a hand. To answer. <laughs> <laughs> I was muted. Uh. All right, then muted. <laughs> no, yeah. ma- make, make your introduction. Yeah. I'll just tell him... Uh, Hello, I'm Udinar. Uh, yeah. Uh, you must be the Ed that I heard so much about. And I just extend as a hand. As you extend your hand, uh, your the medallion around your neck just starts to, like, whir. And it spins so fast, it starts to, it makes noise. Like, <laughs> as, it, as it cuts the wind. Oh. And Ed takes a look at it and very cautiously reaches his own hand out and says, Hey, a pleasure. Fame and, decided to leave. Uh, oh, how does he know? So, with my hand extended, and it starts spinning, and he reaches his hand out, I actually move my hand away from the shake, and, like, start uh-huh. holding the symbol, the medallion thing, and just start looking at it. So, there, it's even as you're holding it, it spins, and it's just a cacophony of three separate voices, and you can't make out anything that's being said. Is it like overwhelming <laughs> me? At it's all? just it's like if three people were talking at once. Oh, so every time somebody has an idea in this game, got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can we can simulate that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, we never, 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 never talk over each other. That doesn't happen. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Schizophrenia. Uh, so I'll drop it again and like put my hand back out and grab his and shake it. Yeah. So he kind of slowly nods his head along with the handshake. He says, "All right then, oh, an odd one. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we we can step into the into the office here." And um, he kicks the side of the wagon and opens the the portal gate again. Ready for a trip? I, I will step inside first. All right. I scurry in after her. I follow. Okay. Yeah, they go along. I slowly trail all of them, I guess. Okay. You step through the portal and uh, find yourself in a very nice blacksmith's workshop. Um, It seems as though most of the weapon racks and things of that nature are empty at the moment, and you can see a lot of raw material lying around the shop. But anyways, you... Go ahead. I will pull out the giant's wallet and slap it on the counter. He says, and what's this then? A nice trinket that we found, and I'll open the box and pull out the bundle and place okay. it on the counter for him. Oh, the sword. By Mordrick's magnificent beard, you're a blessing. If I'd lost it, oh, a good thing you lot came up when you did. My fat gut just doesn't let me swing the hammer like I used to. And when they sneak past the wards in the cart, I knew something was amiss and could use the help. At any rate, a deal's a deal. You've brought Pippi, you've secured the sword for me. That's worth anything in the shop. Uh, except for the sword or Pippi. 
Damn. <laughs> I seem to remember you saying anything. Do you really want to test it? You wee blowy man. <laughs> blowy man. Well, I'm just saying, I just say you don't have, have uh... much in the shop anymore. Is that right? Um, you said it's pretty empty. I I've been cleaned out. You're not the only factors in the region, you know. Claimed they just landed some big score from up north, or headed to Noatinos by way of Moonfall to sell it. Cheery bunch. Offered up quite a lot of materials to take what I had. It'll keep me stocked up for a few months at least. Might have to make the journey back east again. Well, what do you even have left in here, Ed? Okay, trade inventory. Uh, he's got potions of healing. There are three, four, five scrolls. So three common scrolls, a rare scroll, and a very rare scroll. Uh, let's see. So common, it's potion, scroll, scroll, scroll. Uncommon is ring, wand, and a headband. Rare is a couple of wondrous items and a scroll. And very rare is a scroll, a couple of potion, or yeah, a few potions, and a ring. Any way you can drop that into the chat? It can't because it'll tell you what they all are. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Very well, rare. Uh, scroll. You're what? Go, you're gonna have to go slower. Okay. So, all right. What? T tell me a tier, and I'll tell you what's there. Okay. Let's go. Let's do the rares first. Rare is two wondrous items, of which uh, Pippi whispers into Ed's ear and tells him what they are, and he says, "That in there is a hole that you can take with you, and that little box over there." is a boat. Mm -hmm. And of course, this, this here is a scroll of some sort of great power. It, uh, it'll even restore a missing limb, supposedly. That is the, the headband. Sorry? The headband? It'll make you smart, says Pippi. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> How about, Ed? What was, I sweeten what was the this? pot. And I pull out the ruin that we found. Oh, a rune! The headband. A, a rune. You actually found it. Pippi, your nose never fails. You've no idea the work you've saved me. Hand it over now, right quick. Right quick. Oh, and I'd say oh, it's oh. worth another claim from the shop. I feel I like you also will that for the headband. That's a done deal. A done. It's yours. And Pippi scuttles over and grabs the headband and snatches the rune as he hands it to you. What was that scroll that restored limbs and things? It's a scroll that is of some sort of great healing magic of some sort. It can even restore missing limbs. I feel like you also uh, owe us a new glaive. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Glaive. Oh, the, the weapon I was working on. You didn't yeah. recover it. Couldn't find it. I, I it I'm, I'm afraid that wasn't part of the deal. I told you you could keep anything you found inside, aside from the sword. And of course, if you found what I was looking for, I need that as well. And it seems as though you have. Oh, I never expected you to actually bring it with you. I have no idea what troubles you've gone through, but like I said, it's worth something in the shop. And your wizard here, the lass, she took a headband. So I still owe you one. And he starts looking over the rune itself. Ah, it's just the mind rune, but still, better to have it than I don't know where it lay. Stuffs it into his apron. I go up to Ed, and I lift up my bangs, and I look at him with my creepy red eye. <laughs> How about it's worth two things from the shop? I'm afraid you're not in a position to bargain, Messi. I've already got the sword and the rune, and you're in my shop. Stare at him with my eye. <laughs> Ed, do you mind if I take a look at the, the different scrolls. By all means. So I can make out what they are. I suppose that's a fair, fair compromise. You've done so much work for me already. How about this? How about I just tell you what they are? That'll work too. All right. So since you guys have done so much for Ed, I will go ahead and just show you what's in his trade inventory. Thank God. It's in the D&D chat. Oh, he needs that fucking headband. Ring of Degeneration? What the... 
Oh, the bet the portable hole is real good. Yeah, portable hole is real nice. What is scroll of Morden Kanan's magnificent magic? Morden Kanan. The the bummer is it it'll be a single use unless I can like learn the spell, but I'm guessing that's way up there. Does it just create a mansion? Uh so Morden Kynan's magnificent mansion. Let's see spell sheet. So I can look it up. Oh. I thought they wrote a one shot with that name. Morden Kynan? No, the Magnificent Mansion specifically as well. Oh. There is a spell for it. That makes sense. Mor Morden Kynan's Magnificent Mansion. You conjure an extra dimensional dwelling in range that lasts for the duration, which is 24 hours. You choose where one entrance is located. The entrance shimmers faintly and is 5 feet wide, 10 feet tall. You and any creature you designate when you cast the spell can enter the extra dimensional dwelling as long as the portal remains open. You can close the portal if you're within 30 feet of it. While closed, it's invisible. Beyond the portal is a magnificent foyer with numerous chambers beyond. The atmosphere is clean, fresh, and warm. You can create any floor plan you like, but the space can't exceed 50 cubes, each cube being 10 feet on each side. The place is furnished and decorated as you choose. It contains sufficient food to serve a nine-course banquet for up to 100 people. A staff of 100 near-transparent servants attends all who enter. You decide the visual appearance of these servants in their attire. They are completely obedient to your orders. Each creature thus, or then, each, then to your orders, each servant can perform a task a normal human could perform, but they can't attack or take any action that would directly harm another creature. Thus, the servants can fetch things, clean, mend, fold clothes, light fire, serve food, pour wine, and so on. They can go anywhere in the mansion but can't leave it. Furnishings and other objects created by the spell dissipate into smoke if removed from the mansion. When the spell ends, the creatures inside the extra-dimensional space are expelled into the open spaces nearest to the end. Wow. 24 hour super mansion. Yeah, but it's a, a high level spell, so we yes. wouldn't get much use out of it. It mm -hmm. is a 7th level spell. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, I think portable hole is probably our, what about our the best bet. Ring what a... Degeneration. I think that's supposed to be regeneration. It's not. <laughs> So I, uh, that sounds cool. Be, uh, so out of the niceness of my heart in showing you his inventory for doing so much work for him, um, I went ahead and let you see the cursed item that you could have ended up with. Mm -hmm. hmm. Since you, I mean, especially since you guys already have a cursed item among you, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the, the, the eye thing? Yes. Huh? Yeah, because Wand of Magic Missiles is pretty neat, but... Let's mm. let's take a minute and consider the the scroll of greater restoration cuz I could get my eye back. That is a back. a single use though as a I scroll. Could get, I could get my eye back. Your eye looks cooler this way. It does not, and you know it. It does. <laughs> okay, so why don't why don't why doesn't the group instead of uh, code namesing this and locking onto something and sticking to it? Why don't you guys go through each item line by line and discuss you know, as a group, why you think it would or wouldn't be a benefit to choose. Uh, Ed, would you be willing to still do normal trade for magical items for some of the, the more common? Of course. Okay. I am a trader, after all. How, is it, there only a single potion of healing? No, so common? if... No, no, no. Um, that, like, he's got, like, barrels of them, almost. So okay. we have... So we have three common level conduits from mm -hmm. that we just the got. mages so we could mm -hmm. potentially get three of those no scrolls. you no you would get one and a half because it's it's a two to one deal remember no oh, yeah, scroll they... of identify would be really good to have too because that's something i can learn and then we don't have to spend eight short rests learning magical properties oh smart that could be um, that could be one of the normal trades Mm -hmm. Ring the... of water walking would be nice for egg. That would be nice for egg. Drown. <laughs> yeah. What about the folding boat? What does that do? Uh, it opens up a like boat with oars and an anchor, and it's a fairly large boat. And it folds down into a nice little box. 
I feel like mm-hmm. we're gonna need that if we're gonna get back to Glitterstone. If, if ever. Do if we, we really want to go back though, considering? Well, how yo, I got a are. reward to turn in on you guys. <laughs> No, we don't have to go back, certainly. I mean, I, I, I kind of don't want to, because who can look at my face like this? <laughs> All you need is another one, and no one will believe that you're pedal. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I lift up my blank bangs and glare at you with my creepy eye. Um, as you do so, you notice that there is a large creature standing beside... Edwin, with just like these dripping fangs and an open maw and you know, razor sharp claws. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Me? Yes. Um, well, shit. The creature takes a swipe at you. And <laughs> what is your AC? 13. Okay. Uh, so, three. Like rents appear across Pedalin's chest, and blood just begins to pour down her clothes as she takes eight damage. Um, Ed flips his shit and whips his head to the side, and he's like, "And what in the nine hells was that? What, what did you, you do? Brought, what have you brought into my shop?" Um, as you reel and blink your eyes and, and look around, you notice that there's nothing there, but the wounds are very real. Yeah, that's probably not great. There was a monster! And I point. And then I'll tell them what happened, what I saw. She describes an ambiguous, nightmarish horror. It's not in the shop, it's in this fucking eye! It was there in the cave, too! It didn't get me then, but it got me now. What? It's in the (laughs) eye, I know it! This is the second time this has happened. It's uh, just gonna keep coming back. I see. Well, we probably should sort that out. Um... Hey, uh, hey, dwarf, have you been doing anything with that? I'm sorry, what? Uh, a friend here seems to have gotten herself a cursed eye. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm afraid that's not my specialty. <laughs> fair enough. That is pretty fair. I mean, if um, you get it out, you get a magical item. Hey, I'll trade you for it. <laughs> but I'm not taking it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I already got the, the headband. My argument for portable hole is we can basically use it as extra dimensional storage space. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sold on it. Because it's a, yep. what, five foot by ten foot hole that we could put stuff into and then just pick up this handkerchief. Does it work that way? I don't actually know. Uh, portable hole. Oh, it's six. It unfolds to a sheet six feet in diameter, extra dimensional hole ten feet deep, exists in a different plane, so can't be used to open passages. Um, where was it? By climbing out. Folding the cloth closes the hole. Any creatures or objects within it remain in the extra dimensional space. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. But but Basically, creatures can also nothing. make s- strength checks to escape yeah. if they're yeah. trapped. That's kind of cool. I mean, that's ten minutes. Uh, you can only survive for ten minutes. Yeah. Well, there's right. a breathing a breathing creature within a closed portable hole uh-huh. for ten minutes. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, we're getting oh, yeah. that one. <laughs> Chain already has a monopoly on the magic items, so I want to hear everybody else's take on things as well. Oh, okay. I, 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 I think for like the overall of the group, the portable hole would be most beneficial, like in terms of like future adventuring, just because we mm-hmm. keep collecting things. I do agree. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's continue going down the list. Holding boat is eh. is good because it does give us a a way to actually traverse off this island yeah. but knowing that our intention is to try and bring back Spira with Grills, we don't know how long we're going to be here yeah 
The scroll of greater restoration would be a a single use. Greater restoration is what a fifth level spell. It is not one that I can learn because it's not in the wizard spell book. So it'll be a one time use. And if you fail that DC in order to cast above your spell level, then that scroll is just gone. So I can't even get my eye back if we get it. You can attempt to, but there's no. It, it's a gamble. Yeah, I would also say you probably have to free yourself of the curse eye first. Yeah, which, like, I might have a thing to do, which is why I don't have any spell slots left. By which he means that he can cast Remove Curse. Yes. To remove the ambiguity from the statement. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I would prefer that over gouging out my own I mean, eye. I meant it more sarcastically, like, you fuckers made me do this twice already. <laughs> oh. Hey, it killed a man, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was wasted on Egg, though. Sure. It's too bad. I was Magnificent cursed. Mansion, I think that's above our station at the moment. Agreed. Yeah. Supreme Healing is super nice, mm -hmm. but I, again, that's a, a one-time dealio. Mm-hmm. Uh, Potion of Vitality. I actually do not know that one off the top of my head. I'm really thinking we should invest in this ring of generation. <laughs> the cursed <laughs> ring? <laughs> sure, uh, vitality is... There is any diseases or poisons affecting you and removes exhaustion. There's more to it than that. Yeah, for the next 24 hours you regain the maximum number of hit points for any hit die you spend. Oh, okay. But again, that's another one-time use. It sounds like the portable hole is probably for the best. Because then we can mm -hmm. just put the chest inside the hole. And the Ring of Degeneration does what it sounds like it does. It slowly <laughs> eats you. <laughs> just saying, like, we could get rid of any obnoxious lovers. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. You know what? I don't have the balls to break up with her. I'm just going to kill her slowly. I'm just going to, like, prepen pre 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 oh, wow. pretend to get engaged with her. And literally murder her. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble scaring off any lovers. <laughs> hmm, you might find someone who's into it. Did you? You guys rested after Petalin read the book, but she was a puddle, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. then that, that's fine. That's fine. I just wanted to make sure of something. That was ominous. Yeah, I'm fine with the portable hole. That uh, could be wildly useful with, like, throwing me at it, throwing <laughs> it somewhere. <laughs> I jump out and stab someone wait, in the back. Wait, it's, it's a sheet, right? So you can totally, like... Toro Toro the bull. <laughs> Wily Coyote some shit. Yeah. So am I am Stand I hearing? Religious. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with portable hole and then try and make some trades for some other stuff. Okay. Um, what do you would be huge. Remember it's a two to one, so anything you give him is worth you know half yes how about these two by fours it's magical two by fours i mean it's materials and he's clearly willing to trade for them i would yeah. consider those to be did i give you a rarity on them i think they were uh, very rare i th i also think kidding. they were uncommon but i just wanted to i, I want to say they were uncommon but that's, oh uh... actually shit it's not even two to one here's his exchange rate i had it written down Three to one. Fours. I have to so find where I, shrewd had the two I think the most pressing thing we need out of there is that scroll of identify so I can actually learn it. Agreed. And I have the, probably as many potions of healing that we can shove in our mouths. I have that power core from the pollinator still. Mm -hmm. and, um oh I I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the, the demonic book. 
Uh, the uh, the monstrous <laughs> manual. Yeah, I'm gonna ask Ed. Uh, we found that the thieves took this too. Would you like this back as well? I told we'll you you could keep anything it. you found. It's yours. Would you trade for it? Uh, of course, I'll trade for anything magic. So I traded it's... for it once, didn't I? Yeah. Well, let's see what we can get because we also have the the scales because we got those back from mm -hmm. the Dranfendil. I've got the magic surgeon tools. Yeah, I don't have a rarity on the two by fours. Let's call them uncommon. Okay. Uh, and the underwater glasses. We can trade. Yeah, I would. I might would keep those if I were you. They've come in handy I mean, more than they're... once. Actually, they're... just once so far. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say. I think literally once. Oh well, just <laughs> once then. Yeah, I we mean... found out what they do, and then. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll be useful, mm. but. So far, just I, mean, I, have, I have so much non magic shit in my pack. <laughs> well, you want to attune to some magical surgeon tools, become proficient <laughs> medicine? Things didn't go so well the last time I attuned <laughs> to something. <laughs> so, not really. Um, okay, so the. Oh, and the candy. monster manual magical was. Candy. A rare, correct? Yes. I actually I can just check. I have that one in my list of magic items. Uh Monstrous Manual is rare. Okay. So we have the the three common conduits, the one rare monster manual. The monstrous manual. Because yeah, it's... it's monstrous. Yeah, it's the monster manual. No, it's monstrous. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Uh, and right. then the pieces of wood were uncommon. How they many were, of those yeah. did we have? Five. Five. So that's we have, we're at seventeen currently with just those. Uh, and I have a dragon scale. We have we have one dragon scale. That's uncommon, right? I grabbed one. Didn't There's write a it two. Down I, think I, I thought it. I thought two. Your bag was two people had did one. Your bag disappear. Is that in the bag? Oh, fair enough. Lost? Yeah, if it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. What other? Because we probably don't want to give up the giant's wallet. No. That might no. come in handy. Uh, the immovable rod has been very Just useful. Yes. Super useful. Uh, what about candy? The magical candy we found in the. In oh the yeah, library. we do have the the bonsai as well. Got a, a rarity level for the candy. How much candy That's probably do you have? Common. I have one. I think Pedalin has. I have two. one. Yeah, Pedalin no, I, I, two. I took two, but I ate one, and I and I forced um. Oh, that's I forced right. Egg to eat one. So I don't have any candy left. So there's one candy. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. How many dragon scales do you have? I, I thought one. we had two, but I only have. I Did think I have... three were taken, but Chain lost his. Okay, so there. So two two dragon scales and a candy. That's worth a common. <laughs> okay. We have eighteen, so we can buy a scroll of identify and then five potions of healing. I want that ring of water walking. Okay. Do we want to prioritize so, that? I'll say it again because I said it twice and when it was spoken over. I have the power core from a pollinator. And I don't know how much oh. that's worth. Uh, how many things was it? Two it was charges. Two, right? So yeah. that's a common. Okay. So that's a that's one more right. there. So nineteen. Uh then minus the ring of water walking, which would be five, so we have fourteen to play with. I think you should get that identity. Identify. So we have 11. Can we get one more out of something? Uh, what about your one ring? Uh, one that let us, like... The one that lets you know true north? We don't know the yeah. full properties of that yet, so I... Can Pippi tell us? 
I mean, I'm sure people, I'm sure if we could get could identify, you. we could learn it and then decide. <laughs> Hey, old man. man. We found a magical ring. I was wondering if you could uh, identify it for us. Man, does my name look like it's Deckard? Heh, I get it. <laughs> what? It's pretty good. I get it. <laughs> uh, the answer is the the uh, no. Blowy Catman. <laughs> cat. Blowy no Catman. Does he know anything about the cat? I called you cat in front of him. Uh, would you be interested in this? And I bring out the scroll of infernal calling. Let's see. Uh, let me look up the rarity on it. I mean, I, absolutely, I'd be interested in it. It's a magic item, isn't it? As for what it is, magic items. Roll. What level is that? Fifth, sixth, seventh? Fifth. That is a rare. So that would be another four. So that'd bring us to 15. So we can do scroll of identify, ring of water walking, and then another five potions of healing. So do we want to do that? Wait, wait, so we have five left? That's that's how many we have left, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, right. no, no, you have 15 points left. After yes. after getting Ring of Water Walking and the Scroll of Identify, you have 15 points. And Portable Hole, right? Well, that's, that's a freebie. The the... Yeah. Right, 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 right. So we have... We can get a rare, uh, three uncommon... Uh, and five common. How so good after... would that wand of magic missiles be? Uh, it's it's a gamble because you it has charges on it. You use them up, and then you roll how many you get back after a long rest. So it's it's okay if you can't cast magic missiles, and if you wanted some sort of spell. But I think. Like, in terms of survivability, even, like, basic potions of healing would be okay. big. Because if someone falls unconscious, you run up and shove a potion in their mouth. Yeah. Since we can't get the Scroll of Greater Restoration and have it be worth a, worth a damn, then we may as well get that. So is that we do it? tend to fall unconscious fairly often. <laughs> is is that the final answer then? I believe Speak now, so. or forever hold your peace. So, so ring of also, water walking. I can also give away the uh, the um, surgeon tools if we don't care about having someone else proficient. In medicine. Well, if someone is proficient in medicine, doesn't a stabilize check bring the person to one? I mean, I'm proficient in medicine. I have a thing that automatically brings you to one, and I can heal. So, but what if you go down? That's the thing, right? Well, both I mean, Matt and heals. I have emergency heal spells. So yours isn't even an emergency pedal, yeah. and you you actually just have healing as a magic option. So I doubt we need it, unless somebody wants to be proficient in medicine. For whatever reason. Yeah, we could probably get rid of it. Well, it's it's proficiency and advantage on medicine checks. Mm, advantage is nice. That sounds worth having. How, how would uh, the rarity be? It'd be uncommon. Uh, just uncommon. Yeah. And then there's the Goodberry Bonsai Bush. I didn't know if you guys were trading that in or not. Nope. I'm holding okay. on to it. Okay. Up I to you. That doesn't much matter to me if I keep it or not. Like, do we need to get rid of it? Because it sounds like what? we had a good amount no, of... No, because we're, we're, like, yeah, we're we're flush right now in terms of... Yeah. Yeah, so... Equivalent exchange. Like, we had more uh, more interesting stuff, but I think five healing potions is fine. I mean, it would put us to 17, which could get us a very rare... 
before we yeah, get the... I don't the, think uh... we want any of those. Yeah, right. We, we've <laughs> talked through all those. Okay, cool. So, yeah. as, as we... Okay, so five potions of healing, scroll of identify, ring of water walking. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then your freebies were a portable hole and headband of intellect? Correct. Okay. Then, uh... I'm happy to make the trade with you. You have no idea how much work you've saved me. I really appreciate it. Can we ask about the sword now? What do you want to know? Uh, why was it so important? It belonged to a close friend of mine. I told him I'd keep it safe. When I asked these people about the sword, the name Mordrak came up. What do you know of the gods and deities? As I mentioned before, Mordrak had a glorious beard. Um, what you knew Mordrak? Uh, I just wanted to see if he was telling the truth about the the only reason he wanted it was for the uh, keeping his word. Oh, uh, so whenever he said he told his friend he would keep it safe, I mean, you you feel like there's nothing sketchy. Like he's he's telling the truth there. Okay. Um, so you're asking if he knew Mordrak? Yeah, like is that right? Mm -hmm. I know Malachi. I. We were friends for a long time. Malachi. Hi. I'm going to just, like, look at him very intently and say, Are you a god? I don't think there are any gods that walk the mortal plane anymore. What would God need with a horse and cart? <laughs> exactly. See, your swimming friend here, he knows what's, uh, what's on the up and up. I'm just a dwarf. But the sword, the sword did belong to Malachi? Hey, I made it for him. Ooh. See, God. I told you he made it. What happened, <laughs> what happened to all the runes that were supposed to be in it? Sometimes and I why forget. Does William of Wheaton have one? Sometimes I forget how long it's been, but not all of you wee ones remember. No, the runes were scattered, when when the world was sundered. That's a story for another time, though. I'm afraid I'm very tired. I'll run across you again, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Do I know the name Malachi? As a side note, I doubt it yeah okay that's why i was kind of incredulously asking mm. sure because I, I don't think that they shared the scholar's journal with you right so no well you take care ed we tried to heal pippy's wings as much as we could but oh, the right. bastard that got to him really did a number on him speaking of the bastard that got to him did you learn anything about them can pull uh, out the looks thieves like... contract. Yeah. Okay. I'll hand the thief contract over to Ed. This is Just... what we found on one of their bodies. Now hang on before you leave. I know I asked you to go, but just give me a moment here. Pippi means a great deal to me, so I appreciate again what you've done. And he, his eyes begin to look over the note. Uh... The House of Scales, you see. I can't say the name rings a bell, but certainly a dangerous lot, whatever their aims. I'd steer clear from a group like that. And I, fortune teller, I know William, though he's no darling, not anymore. I, uh, I'll have to pay him a visit. But as I said before, I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll cross paths with one another once again. And you, little miss, with the eye. Yes. Let's just say... That I like what you've got going on inside of you. I look forward to seeing what becomes of it. Thank you? Hey, now, I'll be on my way, so if you could, just see your way out of the shop. And next time we trade, I look forward to it. Actually, you know what? In thanks for bringing me this information, specifically about William and the House of Scales, here's another five potions on the house from Old Ed. Thanks. My thank you, Ed. Thank you. Have a good going and be off with you. I'm going to yeah. cast one last longing glance at the sword on the table and then head outside. Ed 
seems to track your gaze and looks at the sword and then looks at you and winks. I nod and give him a little smile. Can I, uh, can I ask just one hypothetical question? You may. What would have happened if we uh, wielded the sword? You'll never know unless you wield it. <laughs> I jokingly reach out for it. I'm going to grab his uh, wrist there. <laughs> okay. All okay. right. <laughs> so are you stopping him from grabbing oh, yeah. the sword? Okay. Wait, yeah, I'm not reaching for it. Okay. <laughs> we we right. push him out of the... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I... <laughs> okay. So the, the group exits, and uh, as you exit, Ed seems to follow up behind you, and he sets to work hitching up his exceptionally large draft horse to the cart. He says, as I said before, I'm sure we'll meet again, but I must be on my way. I've been here for too long. The mountains are dangerous, and the giants are fucking annoying. Good luck Where to you? you all. Where are you heading? East, as I said. And, uh... and then I point, if north is that way, he's heading that way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to call it session there. Um, I will feel the short Q&A because I'm sure there will be some cues to A. Uh, but I would like to know if, the, if each of you would be available to play next Saturday on the 15th. Because we have an engagement on the 22nd that will keep Susanna from playing. Uh, unfortunately, I have an. Well, I I'm I'm good for fifteenth. Uh, I'm not good for the 29th. Okay. That's fine. I mean, we can we can always come back on the sixth, but uh, the but I yes, just need to know if everybody's okay for the fifteenth. That's fine. The fifteenth's good. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll we'll tentatively well for now we'll set it for the fifteenth. And uh, if something comes up, just let us know. Uh, thank you, Chain, for alerting the group ahead of time today. You can have inspiration for being a responsible adult that's not afraid to communicate. Uh, uh, Pedal okay. in for excellent role play. You can have some inspiration. And I don't, ha I don't have any other notes about it. So if there was anything else that you guys feel was a standout moment, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, we'll start Q&A.